you can、uh, take a look at this one.、Uh, we order this, all of this. So I will compare it with the old one with the prototype. So I will replace this、uh, the, the prototype. You can see I put the all module. Uh, plug in all module on the main board, but right now I integrate everything. Integrate the ESP thirty two, the uh power uh module. Um, yeah, you can see I integrate everything in one board. Um, but the sensor level I did not. I still need to uh manually soldering the sensor level. This is how it looks like compared with the original one. Yeah, I will uh replace the old one. Okay, let's take a deep look uh between these two uh board. So you can take a look. Yeah, the. Right, the left side is a new one. The、uh, the right side is a new one. The left side is a prototype. Okay, this new one. This is a prototype. Yeah, I put a whole bunch of the、um, module together. So when you do the development,、uh, you probably need、uh, to like this. This is for a、uh, test. Uh, it could easily need to ah、uh, test this one. But for the production, we need to、uh, ah、uh, put everything, integrate everything to one board. Yeah, it looks much clean. The sides pretty much the same. Yeah. Okay. Like I mentioned, the uh level sensor, I still uh manually uh, soldering that one. Yeah. The back end uh pretty much is the same, not very uh complicated. Okay. Uh, here is some uh change uh I did for the battery. So the old one I use the、uh, the prototype I use the.、Uh, Uh, two pin for the battery. Yeah. So this will provide the power for the、uh, board. But for the new one, I use the three pins. I will uh explain more why I need to use the three pin uh for this one. Yeah, I will show you how exactly I design this board. Okay, this is the switch. I put the switch over here. So we could put the switch、uh, in the、uh, on the body of the of the board. So you can see. Yeah, even for the uh power uh module, uh, this for the battery. Uh, so I put it to the in integrate to the board. Okay, it's time to do some the uh PCB design. So let's uh, uh look into some detail about the PCB uh board. Let's uh search the uh easy DA. Yeah, easy EDA. Let's try. So we use this one to do the uh PCB design. Uh, it's a online tool, so you don't need to uh install anything on your local machine. It's very easy to use. I already、uh, log in, so I have、uh, a previous project in O one, and this one is A G O one. Let's uh, uh, take a look at this project. So let's go to the PCB one. 
take a look at what it uh, looks like. So it uh, looks pretty good. It's exactly the same as what I demonstrated at the very beginning. So this is 3D uh, render result. Looks awesome. Let's take a look at the diagram. So the diagram, you can see this one is uh, ESP32. Yeah. We use the uh, uh, existing ESP32. This one is for the uh, PCA6985. This one just for drive the uh, server motor. So it's actually uh, use the uh, uh, I2C to write the data to the uh, PWM uh, output. So actually, it's called the uh, uh, driver uh, 16 uh, server motor. So it's actually could do the 60, uh, 12 or 12 uh, uh, degree of freedom here. This one for the uh, convert, convert the voltage from the 5 voltage to 3.3. .3. So once it's convert the voltage and it will provide the uh, supply the power. This is some uh, assistance for the power. Yeah, I originally use the uh, uh, existing uh, module, but right now I just integrate uh, uh, this one to the motherboard. So it will provide the stable 5 voltage uh, power. Yeah. This will, will be totally integrated to the motherboard. Okay. So next one is a uh, uh, USB. Uh, this for the uh, CH340. Uh, for USB convert to the, like, it's kind of like of the debug purpose. Just for download the file, download the file to the motherboard. Yeah, it's trying to uh, communicate with the ESP32 uh, module. Uh, this is for the uh, sensor of the, the uh, naval sensor. Actually, we may not need this one because I need to manually uh, do this one. Okay, that's pretty much all for this design. Okay, let's take a look at how to uh, uh, um, make our order. Let's take a review this one. Okay. That's for the uh, server driver, server motor driver. And that's for the uh, power supply. This part is for the uh, 5 voltage to 3 voltage. That's for the uh, USB, USB port for the file uh, upload to communicate with the uh, ESP32. Yeah, let's take a look at the 3D render. I like to use the uh, uh, black. So let's change the background to the white. Okay, so it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I also set aside the uh, six uh, um, position. Uh, this one, this six spot for the recharge. So later I would add the recharge module over here. So we could use the USB type C to do the charge. That is why I uh, set aside uh, this six uh, point. Yeah, I don't want to always like take off the battery and uh, uh, charge that put it back so i put it i change this to three pin because i want to support the charge i want to charge the uh our um, battery that is why i need one more pin to think about the to consider the balancing yeah So we need to do the battery uh, balancing, check the balancing of the, uh, yeah, of the battery. That is why I use the three pins. 
Okay, so once we have that, we could do a battery recharge without take a battery uh, out of the board. Okay, and let's take a look at the PCB board. Let's show you how to uh, make a um, place or order. So let's check the DRC. We need to check this one. Last time there's some problem, but this time it works fine. Let's to confirm. So the uh, GRC will download the file I just uh, uh, designed. Let's uh, uh, log in. Okay. It's may need some time to uh, get the file. So it's uploading the files. Okay, it's here. Let's do some quick review for the order. So most of the parameters are already correct. We just need to review some of them, like the color. Uh, I like the black color, so I change to the black. Some other parameter. Yeah, everything looks good. Yeah, it looks very good. This is for the PCB. Yeah. We still need to take a look at assembly. Okay, everything looks good. Now let's take a look at assembly for the parts on the board. Okay, that's top side, assemble top side, looks good. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, this top side. This is the bottom. Looks good. Let's go to next. There's some um, parts not uh, existing uh, or out of stock. So, but I don't think this one is very important. This one just for the test purpose. Okay. Okay, next good. Next click next. Okay, now it's automatically put the um, parts on the PCB board. It's match very well, but we need to take a look at uh, the position of each part, make sure the direction is right, because if the direction is, right, is not right, it will not work. Okay, so everything looks good. Yeah, every direction seems looks fine. Yeah, it's not very good. Uh, this H four. Uh, uh, this mouse. Uh, I don't need this one. I just uh, remove this one. I will manually. Uh, manually. Uh, solder this one. So let's remove this one. Let's find this one. H4. H4. Where is H4? Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's remove this one. Okay, next one. So we don't need this one. Just say do not place. Okay, it's a reveal again. It's a process. It's match the parts. Okay, now it looks good. Now it looks good. Yeah, if you decide to remove some parts, you could do that like this way. Let's go next. Make sure uh, the direction is uh, 
right. Make sure this LED part direction is right. Everything. Do some final review. Okay, looks good. Next, next. Okay. Now it show me the price. It's about uh, uh, nineteen six. Uh, that's for the five uh, parts, the five seat. So let's go. Let's save that one. After you check out, the JLC probably will contact you if the design have some problem. You need to fix that and uh, confirm again. After everything uh, ready, everything get corrected. Uh, it's probably need a few days. You will get your uh, PCB board. Thanks for the JLC. Uh, sponsor this video. I will upload the all design file to the uh, GitHub so you guys could download over there. Uh, everything should be uh, ready after I release this uh, video.